Good day, everyone, as we gather for this time of reflection. And the theme of this week's prayer is the ascension of the Lord. In a way, we could call it Up, Up, and Away Week. Ascension of Jesus to the right hand of God the Father in heaven. Because this upcoming Sunday, we will celebrate the feast day of the ascension of the Lord. And it's a holy time in this week to recall again all of Jesus' life, from his birth in Bethlehem to our blessed mother Mary and Joseph, to his life and ministry of sharing the good news, to his laying down his life for us and sacrificing it on the cross on Good Friday, the glorious Easter resurrection in this holy season we've been in for almost 40 days, leading to this moment when Jesus' sacrifice is complete by his returning to the Father. And so what a glorious week then to recall all that Jesus has done for us and continues to do for us, leading us, teaching us, guiding us, strengthening us with his very life, helping us to live our baptism every day, helping us to live our life in Christ. Yet, like the disciples on that ascension day. They probably did not want Jesus to be leaving again and seemed what happened on Good Friday when he died on the cross. But as we pray and reflect this week, we can be assured that Jesus is not abandoning the apostles, not abandoning us. The traditional days of Jesus' resurrection appearances in the Easter season has changed the apostles, and hopefully this holy time over these 40 days has changed us in this holy season of Easter, assuring us that even in difficult times, the risen and ascended Christ never leaves us, is always with us. And so I want to offer the following prayer, and it comes from Thomas Merton, to help us on the journey ahead to the ascension of the Lord. And so we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the prayer, words of Thomas Merton. My Lord, God, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end, nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think I am following your will does not mean that I am actually doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does, in fact, please you. And I hope I have that desire in all that I am doing. I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire. And I know that if I do this, you will lead me by the right road. Though I may not know nothing about it, therefore I will trust you always. Though I may seem to be lost in the shadow of death, I will not fear, for you are ever with me and will never leave me to face the perils alone. Loving, gracious God, bless us as we celebrate this Ascension Week and truly celebrate the glorious ascending to the Father and that Jesus continues to be with us so that one day we too may rise up to the glory of heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.